Hey everybody, my name is Alex with Hake Hardware, and in this video we're going to go over how to get Prometheus installed as a service in Windows 11. To do that, we're going to be using NSSM, which is a really convenient way to install a service and get it running really fast in Windows. So I'll be following this wiki, which will be linked in the description of the video, and I will jump over to Windows now so we can start going through the guide. All right, so the first thing we're going to want to do is download the latest Prometheus version. So we'll go Prometheus download, open up Prometheus, and I'm going to scroll down here to, I'm not going to do a beta version. I'm going to do the one of the latest releases here, which is 2.55, and I'm going to want the Windows AMD. So I'll go ahead and download that. And we'll open it, and we're going to extract it. We can just extract it to the current folder. And then the next thing we're going to need to do is I'm just going to open another tab here. I'm going to go into my C drive. I'm going to create a new folder. I'm going to call it Prometheus. And then I'm going to click into here, copy the contents. And I'm just going to do Control X to cut and then open up the Prometheus folder and paste the contents in here. So one thing to note is there is the Prometheus.yaml file in here, and this is where you're gonna do your configurations. So if I right click and edit in Notepad, this is actually the configuration where you're going to add in your scrape targets, if you want to add something like Windows Exporter or anything else, if you're scraping metrics from another app you're using, this is where you're gonna come in and fill it out. And if you have like a, IDE, like Visual Studio Code, it's a lot easier to see the syntax highlighting for YAML files, but in Notepad it works just fine. So we're not going to do anything with that in this guide, but just so you know, for uh, when you do want to start adding scrape targets, that's where you're going to find it. All right, so the next thing is to download NSM, or NSSM. And I typically go to the uh, all builds page and I just grab the latest build so we'll get that downloaded again open it up in your downloads folder and just extract it I've got too many windows open here so let's reduce a few of them and we're gonna go back to the C drive and now we're gonna create another folder but this time it's gonna be for NSS NSSM we'll just do NSSM and then again, we're going to go into, let's just go to our downloads folder, the folder that we extracted. We're going to go inside here, and we really only need the .exe file from the Win64. So I'm just going to cut this, go into the NSSM folder, paste it in, and then we should be good. Actually, we, we might need this PDB file, so I'm going to actually include that. I'm not 100% sure. But you basically just need the contents of that Win64 folder. And then we can close out of all that. We can close out of our browser. And the next thing we're going to do is actually open up a terminal. But we want it to be in the uh, an admin terminal. So right click on your start menu here. And then terminal with admin in parentheses. And we'll just click yes. And we're going to go to our... NSSM folder. So CD, C colon slash, NSS, and you can do tab to autocomplete if you want. And as we can see with dir, we have our .exe file in here. And the first thing we're going to want to do is run that .exe. So NSSM, and I usually just do tab, that'll autocomplete it. And then install Prometheus. And you'll see this little configuration window pops up. And for the path, you're going to want to specify that Prometheus folder in the C drive that we created. So I'll double click. And it actually is already set up for me. But if I go to local C drive, I would just click Prometheus. And it's going to, um, we're going to select Prometheus here and click open. And it auto populates the startup directory, which is Prometheus. And our path is Prometheus.exe. And then for the arguments, you're going to want to add where the config is so it's in the wiki but it's basically dash dash config dot 
uh, file equals the C drive, that Prometheus folder, and then Prometheus YAML. So I know it's really hard to see on the screen. I'm not 100% sure how to make the resolution a little bit easier. Um, but actually, I think I can do display settings, scale. Uh, that doesn't seem to help. I'm in a VM, so I'm not 100% sure. Enter custom scaling. 200 per. Oh, let's see if this helps. 200%. I'll have to sign out. Okay. Well, uh, there will be pictures and stuff in the wiki if it's hard to read and see what I'm doing. But once you're done, you can just do install service. You can see service installed successfully. Click OK. And now we have installed Prometheus as a service, but we need to actually go in and enable it and make sure it's set to automatic for um, startup type. That way it turns on automatically when we boot. So we can close out of our terminal. Now down here in the search bar, type services. And you're gonna usually see this services pop up, but if not, just type ms msc and just click enter. And it'll bring up your services console here. And we're gonna look for Prometheus. So scroll down to the P's. We see Prometheus. Now it's not running yet, which is why we're going to click. We can either click start the service up here on the left, or we can right click on it and click start. Okay, so we're good there. And if we double click it, we can see that the startup type is automatic. Now you can do manual or disabled if you don't want it to start on boot. I'm not too sure what the difference between manual and disabled is, but um, if you don't want it to start on boot, you can do that. And basically keep everything else as it is. And now Prometheus is running, and we can check it out in the browser. So if we open up another browser, uh-oh. It's off the menu here. There we go. Uh, we can go to localhost 9090. That's going to be where Prometheus is. And you should see this web front end. And if you go to status and then targets, you'll see the only target that Prometheus is scraping is Prometheus itself. So as you add stuff to your Prometheus.yaml file, you'll be able to come into status and then targets and see the state should be up if it's successfully scraping metrics for it. So there you go. Now you have Prometheus set up as a Windows service that will automatically start whenever you reboot your computer. And you can now go in and connect this to Grafana. And I think I have Grafana. Let's do a little bonus material. So I think localhost 9999 is Grafana. So if we want to connect Prometheus to Grafana, we'll go over here to uh, Connections, Data Sources, Add Data Source. Prometheus, and we're going to grab this URL, just the localhost 9090, and we'll do HTTP colon slash slash local, oop, I guess I grabbed the whole thing. All right, localhost 9090, and everything else can pretty much be the same, all the same, and then click save and test, and you can see successfully query the Prometheus API. So we now have Prometheus as a data source. So when you go into dashboards, you need a new, uh, or if you like import something, you'll be able to select Prometheus as your uh, data, data source. All right, so that is going to be it for this guide. Hopefully you found it helpful. And if you did, please feel free to leave a like and I'll see you in the next one.